सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड लेट्स वो ऑन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर दैट इज द मोनलिथ आर्किटेक्चर एंड द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आर्किटेक्चर एंड हाउ डॉकर इज हेल्पफुल हियर ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द फर्स्ट वन द मोनोलिथ आर्किटेक्चर सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव द एप्लीकेशन इट्स हैव द मिनिमम थ्री थिंग्स अवेलेबल टू बी एप्स टू बी रन दैट द फ्रंट एंड दैट द बैक एंड एंड द डेटा बेस सो थ्री थिंग्स इज द मेन इसेंशियल थिंग ऑफ एनी फुल स्टैक एप्लीकेशन सो दे आर द थिंग्स देर कुड बी मेनी लाइक द मोनिटरिंग एंड ऑल द स्टफ बट वी आर स्टेकिंग द मिनिमम बेस्ट थिंग ओके सो इन द मोनोलिथ आर्किटेक्चर वॉट विल हैपन वी आर गोइंग टू बंडल एवरी थिंग इन द सिंगल पैकेज एंड वी कैन डिप्लॉय ऑन द क्लाउड बट दिस एप्लीकेशन इज डिपेंडेंट टू ईच सर्विसेज ओके द फ्रंट एंड बैक एंड एंड डेटा बेस दे आर नॉट सेपरेटली बट दे आर डिपेंडेंट टू ईच अदर बट इन सम हाउ केसेज लेट सपोज यूर एप्लीकेशन गॉट डिसकनेक्टेड ओके और डेटा बेस हैज बीन लॉस्ट ओके लेट सपोज यूर डेटा बेस हैज बीन क्रैश सो इन दैट केस सो यूर होल एप्लीकेशन विल बी क्रैश बिकॉज द डेटा बेस इज क्रैश एंड द होल द कनेक्शन फ्रॉम योर डेटा बेस टू द बैक एंड टू द फ्रंट एंड ऑल विल बी गॉन बिकॉज योर डेटा बेस इज नॉट वर्किंग इट so this is the main problem with the monolith architecture there is one more problem with the monolith architecture let's suppose your application gets too many requests on the database not on the front end not on the back end uh, in the database so most of the queries is uh, happening on your database and if you want to scale up that database you can't be able to scale up so you have to scale up the full entire application okay so because we want to only upgrade the one service that is the database so if you want to just scale up the database it cannot be possible in the monolith architecture but here the microservice comes in and it's win the game so let me show you so let's move on the next topic that the microservice architecture so we have the three again the three things has been same like the front end back end and database but here is the cache so each service like the front end the back end and the database is separate out which means if you want to scale up or let's say an example if your database gets disconnected or made uh, it gets crash so your application will not be broken what will happen once your database is gone then another database will automatically up and it's going to be connect with your back end and the front end and automatically the service will be continue running so you will not get any type of error so that is the main beauty of the microservice architecture so using the microservice architecture you will be not able to just separate out these things like the front end back end on the database but you are going to be can uh, separate out each the services so let's understand with an example let's suppose you have the e-commerce site and it's have the bunch of services like the search button add to cart and there is much more but most of the audience is stucking on your payment processing system so what we can do right now so we can just separate out the payment service as a whole microservice okay so will it not be dependent on directly in the front end so we have the separated service so you might be thinking where the docker comes and play the role so here it is so you can just able to separate out things using the docker like the you can separate out the front end back end and the database and let me remind again if the database will be gone so our application as per i mention you so our application is running in the container so what will happen if that database is gone then automatically another container will be up and it automatically replace the old container with the new one on your application will not be crash same thing happen here and you can just able to distribute the load as well let's suppose you have the one container and the traffic is humongous so one container is not be able to fulfill your service that what we can do we can run the multiple container and each container have their payment processing system so in this case our application will not be get down because we have to distribute the load also in the microservice architecture we scale up thing as per our need so if we need the payment processing system to be uh, like the four containers should be running so we can just increase the four so we don't have to scale another services if they are not needed so i hope you have clear idea about what is the monolith architecture and microservice architecture so in the monolith architecture what we can do we say, uh, we can just bundle our application and deploy it but in the microservice architecture we separate out all the services and that services is services is running in the docker container so let's move on the next lecture and install the docker in our system